Hey guys, it's Karen. Happy Monday. So motivation, we all need it. God knows we all need it. <laughs> Me included. So many people ask themselves like, is this all there is to life? It's like, well, what do you mean? What do you mean? Is this all there is to life? If you want something steady, go get a government job, like punch the clock, Know that you're going to get your paycheck. Know that there's a ceiling. Uh, there's a bottom and there's a ceiling. If you're in sales, there is no ceiling. The ceiling is based on you and your motivation. Because at the end of the day, the job is to get the check so we can put food on the table. We can go on some vacations. We can have some money for retirement. Well, I won't be doing a video on that because that's definitely not me. And I'm spending it all. And Monday Motivation, click the subscribe. And if you want more information about becoming a realtor, click to subscribe. You'll find lots of good stuff here. If you want more, here's your Monday Motivation. We all have to work a job in order to make a living. Life is, feels mundane. All I do is get up on Mondays and go to work and start the work week all over again. And it's like boring. And, uh, that's number one when it's like, is there more to this of life? We all have to get up on Monday, go to work. If we work a normal nine to five job or even as a realtor, or sometimes I work six, seven days a week, that's, that's the life you choose. The life of a busy realtor. Get my point? Pick it. So you're here on YouTube as a YouTube star, you're doing TikTok, you're an influencer, you're social media, you're a reality TV star, you're a realtor, you're a car salesman, you're a lawyer, you're a doctor. You know, one thing with young kids, they always say, like, I don't know what I want to do with my life, Karen. I don't know. How did you know? Well, I became a realtor when I was 32 years old. Like, I had been a bartender before that, gone to cosmetology school, uh, worked in restaurants, you know, fumbled around. Like, you guys don't put so much pressure on yourself with what am I doing in my life? I don't know what I'm doing. There's a calling in your life that a lot of people don't pay attention to. And, and it'll keep drawing you back continuously. Those are the signs that maybe there's a passion that lies inside of you, that that should be the kind of job that you're doing or interest that you're doing in order to get you know, your heart filled up and fulfilled in not feeling like, oh my God, I'm going to do this every day. One of the reasons I chose to be a realtor was because, well, we were broke, number one. <laughs> and number two, it was like, uh, I was new to the country. I didn't have many options. Um, I had been in sales pretty much my whole life, even like bartending, you're selling drinks, like that's what you are. I grew up in a car dealer family, so I knew that it directly equated to that. Um, oh, the passion, the calling. It was like, I got into this because I needed a job that I could do that was flexible because I had two kids. I was pregnant with my third child when I got into real estate, you guys. I don't want to hear your excuses. And... It was like, well, what can I do when Bruce comes home from work that I can go to work or that I could go to real estate school? It was like, okay, a lot of it was based on what I was capable of doing in my life, but also it was a passion to be like, well, I can do that. I can show houses. Now, I wasn't one of these people that said, oh, I like houses. I want to become a realtor. It's like, no. I mean, I like to live in my house, but it's a job. Don't make excuses for working your job. Like, please stop doing that if you're a realtor, especially, because that just aggravates me to no end. Not that you care on here. So if you're asking yourself, is there more to this mundane life? And you can't come up with the answer. You're not looking hard enough. You're the mundane life. You got to look in the mirror. You are it. The mundane comes from you. Okay. Like, let's get that straight. The job is always going to be boring. It's, there's an end to the mean of a job and it is getting the check. Okay. So like my husband always says to me, 
I could never, me personally or him, sit in a cubicle nine to five with a parameter life. Like that would be like a jail sentence to us. So if that is you, if you want to just punch the clock, get the check every week at the end of it, whether or not your effort relates to your output, that's the job for you. So when you're sitting there thinking, oh my God, my life is so mundane, is there more? It's like, what do you want? Look inside, look in the mirror and go, okay, create it. There is no ceiling or no floor if you have your own life and your own control. That's the difference of the mundane Monday, I've got no motivation. When people say, is there more to life than this, Karen? So this is the part of the story that I want to tell you about mundane about a woman who sat there and was eating her oatmeal and getting you know then she's gonna go get ready for work and she had her kids and they were off to school and she was so bored in her life and just eating her oatmeal and like thinking to herself is there more to life than this like this is it this is as good as it gets I drive my minivan I go to work I pick up my kids from school I make dinner I do laundry I pick up the dog crap you know, I feed the puking cat, I fix his hairballs off the bed, like, ugh, is this it? Is this all there is to life? And one day, her 13-year-old went out into the forest with his friends, having a good old time playing, and they found an ax, and they were chopping down a tree, like just being boys, right? And this boy came and took his turn. And on the last chop, they all started running away. And the tree came down and crushed her son. And he died at the scene. And if you asked her if she could go back in her mundane life and sit there and be bored to tears and thinking, is there more to life than this? As I'm eating my oatmeal and doing the laundry and picking up the cat puke and driving the kids to school and picking them up and making dinners and everything, she'd give everything to go back to that one day in her mundane life. So yeah, you guys, it's about gratitude. That's your Monday motivation. The mundane, it's on you. You're the mundane. If you want the mundane, Go sit in the cubicle. Me and Bruce would kill ourselves if we had to sit in the cubicle and listen to that guy down the way that we absolutely hate tell us what to do all day long. And like, did you get this report done? Get that report. You get to punch out for your uh, break and you get your half an hour to an hour lunch break or maybe you get to go home early on Fridays. Like I would kill myself. Sorry, just not for me. But if it's for you, I'm not judging that. Good, that's your life. That's why we can choose our own life. And then once you get there, look back and remember the woman whose child died and say, is that enough? Is, am I grateful? Do I have gratitude? Because that's it. That's my Monday motivation. It's gonna be short and sweet to the point because we're busy. Love you guys. Take care. What the hell was I going to tell you? And again, oh my God, I'm just getting back on keto. So I have brain fog. And if I haven't told you now, click to subscribe. And if you want to be on keto, click to subscribe. Love you guys. Love you. Have a great week, you guys. Hope I didn't depress you too much. I was just trying to give you perspective. Okay, be happy with what you got. That's your Monday motivation.